Glossy. Glossier. <laughs> like Glossier. <laughs> I feel like mine is not coming up as much. This just reminds me of spring. Like it's super flirty. I can see myself wearing a dress, running in a field of daisies, having a picnic with Bay. Hi everyone, my name is Ebby and welcome back to my channel. I have my sister here with me and we're going to do a demo slash review on Glossier's new Skywash. So if you're interested in this type of content, keep watching. So I didn't really do anything spectacular with my skin. I just washed my face with Neutrogena Deep Clean and then I applied. And then I apply the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. I just dot, dot, dot on my face and I'm good to go. So the next thing I usually do is I apply Future Dew. So Future Dew is their oil serum hybrid and um, my sister also has one as well. So for me, um, when I prep my skin, I usually use the Biore face wash and I use the Rose Quartz face wash. After that, I apply a light moisturizer. Um, I believe it's an Olay moisturizer. I don't have the name, but I will link it down below when I get a chance. And I use my primer, the Pore Professionals, which is my OG, like this is life. And I go in with my glossy, Glossier. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're just gonna apply this now. So I just I start with like oop, I've used this. So I start I start with half of a pump. How much do you start with? And I, then start I work with, my like, way up. Just two, two yeah, so she puts pumps. it on the back of her hand. I just kinda just do whatever. And I put it on my fingertips and I kinda just do like a couple of dots. I have my mirror right here. So I do a couple of dots. And for me, I really focus on the high points of my face because I get really oily, so I kind of don't put it everywhere. So um, I, I, I put it everywhere. Um, so since I'm gonna go in with the Skin Perfecting Skin Tint, I have that in G4. I don't really put a lot of Future Dew, but I do kind of pack it on when I don't have any um, foundation on. And it's also a really good lotion though. Next up, I'm going in with my foundation. It's my BB cream, actually. This is a Black Radiance BB cream in the shade Chocolate. So what do you like the most about the Glossier Future Dew? Hmm. I just like how it gives me like a healthy glow. Um, and I don't feel like in any way that it's like super heavy on my face. Um, that's what I like the most about it. And I feel like it's quick. I like the fact that it comes, I like the fact that it comes in a pump, definitely. Um, that's probably what I like the most. Um, I'm gonna go in with the stretch concealer. So usually I put this stretch concealer before, but sometimes I like to vary it and I'll put it after. It just, it just really depends on how I'm feeling. If I can find it. For me, I really love how the Glossier Future Dew gives a nice healthy glow. It makes my skin just look like it's naturally shiny. However, I do have a con, girl. Sometimes when I put it near my eye, my eye starts burning. I don't know whether there's some type of chemical in here of some sort, but it makes my eye burn. Does that happen to you? Yeah, I don't really experience that. Um, I don't, I guess you did see me just put it by my eye, but I don't really experience that. I do experience that, I can say, with um, with the sunscreen, the invisible shield. So I feel like throughout the day, the invisible shield, um, I can feel it around my eye for some reason. That may also be a psychological thing, I'm not sure. I think I need to add more because you're shining and I'm trying to get like you this. Mm -hmm. 
And lastly, I just apply the boy brow. Mm -hmm. So the boy brow really shines, I would say, when you have your brows done. Um, but I still like to put it on. I mean, during this quarantine, we need some sort of normalcy, so. And for me, when I usually do this look, I'm really getting ready for work. And I do a lot of my jobs, so I don't do too much. So I'm just gonna brush my brows up, but I definitely wanna invest in that boy brow though. Mm-hmm, <laughs> yeah. So next up, we're going into what you actually came here for, which is a demo on this product right here, the Skywash. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna see it on both of us, and we're gonna try each shade on one eye. So which shade should we start off with first? Um, I guess we can start off with Echo. Um, so I believe Echo is the darkest shade and it's a brown. So I mean, it, we're gonna each put that on our lid. So I'm gonna put it on this lid. I'm gonna put it on this lid. So how, oh, oh wait. Oh, you haven't actually used this product before. Okay, all right, go ahead. Let's see how it is. I mean, so it. since it's a wand, I'm thinking that I'm just gonna swipe it right across my lid. Ooh, I love this color. I'm gonna swipe it right across and then I'm going to pat it. Oh, it's actually a liquidy texture. Yeah, but you're gonna be shocked because it dries matte. So let me apply it. I also, since it's a one, I also just put it directly on. And because I'm just lazy, so that's another reason. So I kind of move like the edge of my eyelid. Mm -hmm. Unsure if this causes wrinkles. Mm -hmm. I think I need to add more. And I, I, I kind of like dotted. I guess I'll go overboard when adding product. And initially when I got this product, um, I did use my hands, but then I figured, just like the cloud paint, I figured that like I use my hands for everything with this. That I was kind of tired of wiping my hands. So I just grab a brush and this isn't like, this isn't like a special brush or anything. Um, I think I actually got this from the dollar store. So I grab the brush and I just pack it on. So this is how it looks. On my lid, so this is Echo. This is Echo on my lid. I feel like mine is not coming up as much. Hmm, let me see. I definitely see it when I'm swiping it on, but I feel like once I tap it in, I guess let me just tap instead of swiping. That's Echo for now. Let's see what happens when it dries. Okay, so after putting this on, we're going to put on Tara on the right side of our lid so you can see how it looks. I actually think I'm gonna tap it in with a brush too this time. <laughs> oh, okay, so this color is coming up a lot more on me. Okay, give me pigment, all right now. Yeah, I know, that's that's like instantly what I thought when I looked at it. Um, and this is not to say that tapping in with your fingers don't work because when I first got the product, um, that's exactly what I did. And it also helps give you kind of like a diffused look. But I've always stand, stand by the fact that I feel like Glossier, it's not full coverage, but to me it can be somewhat buildable to what you want. So this is how it looks, Echo and Tara. Echo and Tara. Okay, so I'm just going to go close up so you can see how it looks to guide you for your purchase. So Echo is on this side again. 
and Tara is on this side. And for me, I really like Echo as kind of like a natural look. So maybe it might help if I just cover one half of my face so you don't, you're not distracted by the other one because I know if you see them both at the same time, you see this one and you're like, boom. But I like Echo as kind of like a, a really natural makeup type of look. Like I like the brown against um, the color of my skin. Like it looks really nice. As for this one, this just reminds me of spring. Like it's super flirty. I can see myself wearing a dress, running in a field of daisies, having a picnic with Bay, And I really like it overall. And I think these are good picks, especially for women of color. So what do you think? I mean, for me, I think that when it comes to these colors, honestly, I like them better when they were wet compared to when they're dry. Like, I feel like when they're dry, I don't have as much warmth. So for example, with Echo, Echo, it kind of dries off very matte to me. I feel like for me, Echo would be a nighttime look if I wanted to do like a smoky type of look. And I feel like honestly, I would use Tara in the day because that's just the type of makeup girl I am. It's a little bit more brighter and warm and I would use this on a daily. But um, as far as Echo, I would use it more so like my nighttime smoky look, especially when it's dry. So you think Echo could have more warmth for you? Yeah, a little bit more warmth. It's giving me like a cool tone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's giving me a lot of cool tones and I need some warmth into my eyes. Yeah, and again, Skywash, um, it is, Unlike most of your products, which is really um, glossy, Skywash is actually actually has a matte finish. So just to remind you of that. So thank you guys for watching this content. And if you're interested in more glossy reviews, especially a demo of glossy on two different skin tones, then like and subscribe to both of our channels. Yes.